Let's engineer paper bridges. First we'll need to get your materials. For this project, all you will need is paper, tape or glue, and scissors. We'll take our sheets of paper and create a bridge top first. You'll wanna cut two strips of paper. We're going to leave one of them flat and we're going to fold the sides for the second one. And then we'll make the bottom parts of the bridge to hold the bridge up. For this, you will need to cut some strips of paper and roll them into cylinders. You'll use your tape or glue to make sure that they stay in the right shape. And then we're going to flange the bottoms like I have showed you before, where we're going to cut as far up as you think you should go. Remember that when you cut up, you want them to be equal all the way around as best as you can and then you'll fold those little flanges or those little flaps out so that it will better hold your bridge up. Once you have created the top and the bottom, then it's time to attach the two. I would recommend putting the base parts equally distant from each other on both bridges, and then using your tape to attach the top and the bottom to each one. It's important that the bottoms are the same distance apart on both bridges, so that when we test them out, it will be a better test. So let's add some weight. Now I'm gonna use dice and I'm gonna place them in the middle of both bridges. I'm going to add weight, about the same amount of weight to each one each time. Now, you can use coins, you could use Legos, you could use paper clips, anything that you can gradually add weight with. So I want you to be able to see which one holds the most weight. Is it the flat one? Or is it the one that we have the sides folded on? And why do you think that might be? Now it's your turn to build your bridge and test it out.